Let's kick it off here with our top story this half an hour. Huawei's growing privacy concerns. The chairman of the technology company in China dismissing claims that the company is engaged in espionage with the Chinese government. We continue to hear stories of spying. This comes after Huawei CFO was arrested and detained in Canada on suspicion she violated U.S. sanctions against Iran back in December. Not to mention the spying. The U.S. government says it's skeptical of Huawei's close relationship with the Chinese government. It is, of course, a Chinese company and it's a communist country. Joining me right now is Edelman CEO Richard Edelman talking about trust. And Richard, it is good to see you this morning. Always good to Thanks be here. Thanks so much for joining us. You're here with your global trust study. Um, but before that, let me get your take on the privacy issues surrounding China. You know, I think that uh, trust is the essential component for a corporation. And um, Chinese companies really have an issue because they're seen as, you know, non-transparent. Um, they, they don't really have governance, uh, the same standard as global. Right. And there are issues uh, related to how close they are to government. Yeah. And, and, and we know that China has been stealing I, IP for decades. Uh, in terms of American businesses, and we're, and we're going to get into that in, in a moment. But you're out with your trust uh, report. This is the Global Business Trust. Edelman uh, does this every year. This is your 2019 barometer. Tell me what it says. The big story this year is trust moved from being top-down, then to peer-to-peer, -peer, and this year it's gone local. So my employer is the most trusted institution in the world, 20 points above any other. And what's significant here is also that three-quarters of the respondents told us that they want CEOs to stand up and speak up and act and not wait for government. Um, because they see that uh, CEOs can do things on, on important issues, whether it's trade or innovation. That's what business is supposed to lead on. I think it's really important that you, you bring this up, that people trust their own company. But I thought it was overwhelming. 75% of employees say that they trust their own employer more than sectors like business, government, and media. The reason for this, Maria, is, you know, in a full employment economy, I feel as if I have control. I, I can move companies if I don't like. It. And when you know people stand up and walk out at a company and say, "I don't like your policy about Me Too or other things," you know, it's a very significant time. And the pyramid, which used to be like this, the elites, has flipped upside down. Mm. So the bottom people really seem like they have a voice now. So what what do those other areas need to do? Business, the media, tell us. Well, basically, I think that there's a new contract between the employer and the employee. And the first thing is that a company has to stand for something, have a big mission. The second Second is, you know, it has to focus in on its home market. Third, it's got to talk to its employees and inform them. And lastly, the CEO's got to be out front so that the rest of the people feel as if they can speak. Another portion of this survey, you asked about the most trusted business sectors. Technology coming in most trusted financial services last. That's been the same for a decade. You well, know? why do they trust technology so much when we know we just got let down uh, during the election with uh, the Cambridge Analytica scandal, Facebook? Here's the thing. There's a separation in people's minds between technology and platforms. Platforms. Oh. And what's fascinating to us this year about media, you'll love this, is a zoom in terms of media engagement. Mainstream media is 65% trusted. It is the source uh, of, of quality information. People are desperate for good information. They don't trust that which they just hear on social. It's not good so enough. So social media is this 35-point gap between mainstream and social. It's a fantastic opportunity for you. That is incredible. Richard, it's great to have you on the program. Thanks Thank for you for having dropping me. that good news. Of course. Why not? <laughs> Richard Edelman joining us from Edelman. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you so much.